So how do I introduce this video? Well, this is just what I've been up to the last week. I miss getting dressed up, so I pulled out one of my dresses and decided to show it off to you. I also show you some of the stuff I've been enjoying and some of my recommendations. I also have to sit down and have my serious talks with you like I like to do. So, you're not getting away without that. So this is what I've been doing the last week, at least the stuff that I can show you. So, let's get started. wanted to show you my new nail color for some reason right here is the only place that it comes out on camera the way it actually looks in real life it's kind of like a bright peach and I figured if I'm not gonna get to go on a vacation this year I might as well have vacation summer peach nails at least I can do that I can have vacation nails <laughs> so if you watched my last video you would have seen how I got that customized shampoo and conditioner and hair care products from Function of Beauty, and I loved it so much, and I love the concept that I just decided to do it again with a different combo, a different scent. This one is Peach. I got this in Peach, and I love how you can name it. So guess what I named it? Can you see that? Can you see that on there? It says, Function of Lion Tamer. That's what Lion calls me calls me Lion Tamer. And I thought it was a great name for a, a shampoo and conditioner. Can you imagine me having a hair care company called Lion Tamer? That would be cool, wouldn't it? So anyways, I'm gonna go take a shower and try this out and then I'm gonna tell you what I think. Okay, so I showered and I used the shampoo and conditioner and then the leave-in treatment, but only put it on the ends because you'll hear it'll get greasy if you have it up here. And then I blow dried it and flat ironed it. I didn't put anything else in it. And I think it's a lot, it is a lot um, more conditioned. So I wanted to share with you the scent of the day because I know you need to know these things. So going along with the peach theme, that's kind of a peach themed day, I got the perfect perfume for the occasion. And this is Hugo, Hugo Boss, the scent for her. And this is actually really good. This has a, has a very fresh like peach scent to it, but it also like has this dry down thing to it that is like, it's the dry down to it is what makes it work because when you first smell it it's like um, like a peach shower gel you think that's kind of what you think but when it's on your skin it's really not that way at all and I've actually had men stop me and compliment me on this and it's just so it's very good summer scent and I think that if you know if I'm gonna go out if I was to go on a vacation okay so one of the things <laughs> that I would do if I would go on vacation is I would probably pick a perfume just for the trip. This is great and I highly recommend this one. So we're gonna put this one on. And I sprayed my face weirdly. So the way this one comes out is more of a mist. So let's see, you have to hold the thing down a little bit more. See how it kinda comes out like that? Anyways, this is my summer recommendation. Well, I just wanted to tell you, if you were thinking about ordering that shampoo from Function of Beauty, by the way, I am not sponsored. Uh, everything I tell you is my real opinion. No one is paying me to say anything, okay? I really do like their stuff. But also you need to know that they try to get you on a subscription for it, which means that they're going to charge your card every three months and send it to you if you don't click 
on you know make sure it's not clipped on there when you're you know checking out I kind of went back and looked at it and uh, then I saw oh they're planning to send me more of it in in three months and charge my card so thought you should know that also <laughs> one of the things I do is I go on uh, the on-demand on the TV downstairs and I always look up the Elvis movies because you know I like Elvis and I haven't seen all of his movies but there's been this one movie I've been wanting to see for a while and it's called like paradise something it's one of the Hawaii ones and I've been checking it every day and it just went on it went on the de demand today and so I'm watching it I have it on downstairs so I have to like just go back a little bit to get the part I missed but I want to come up here and just share that with you real quick so this is what I'm doing today <laughs> I'm watching an Elvis movie. So. So if you go on demand onto your Comcast, and you look up Elvis Presley. This is what they have right now. And here's the movie right here. Um, Elvis Paradise Hawaii style was the one I've been wanting to watch because I really liked um, the Blue Hawaii movie. So I got to finally watch it, it came up. So, Elvis movie afternoon. <laughs> So I've decided to make kind of a Cajun-like shrimp thing. I'm trying to be a little bit healthy here. And I'm actually surprised how well these flavors blended. So I just thought I would share it with you really quickly. I just put some olive oil and some garlic in this and started cooking it with the shrimp. Then I added this Cajun seasoning from Penzi's and this Tuscan Sunset from Penzi's, which is an Italian seasoning, which I actually didn't think would blend well together, and I'm seeing that it does work really well together. And that was surprising. And then I put in some pepper flakes. So how was that for an interesting creation? Well, I am at my parents' house. It is Sunday, so I thought I would just chat with you for a second before I go inside. I'm not sure about going downtown today because the feds are now in downtown Portland. There has been riots for over 50 days now, and it doesn't sound very safe. I, I know somebody that's in jail downtown and he said that they're not even letting the inmates watch the news and they're not telling them what's going on. So I don't know what that means. I, it just, nothing's normal at all. It just isn't. And what is normal anyways? I keep asking myself, what is normal? I, this whole virus thing and then the riots and then everything else that's going on. Now there's like a coin shortage. You know, there's signs on places that say, well, we may not be able to give you exact change. I think that's because people are afraid to touch money because they're afraid the virus is spreading through money. So they're using their card. Um, you know, this virus thing and all this other stuff that's going on. This is not even in my top 10 of crazy situations I've dealt with in my life. This isn't even in the top 10 bad things that have happened to me in my life. I kind of have to say, wow, you guys actually feel one tiny smidgen of what I feel normally. So welcome to my life. I don't recommend my life. <laughs> so we're gonna go down the list of things that have been going on. Okay, so lion in prison. They have changed the phone system. So now they have made it so I am not able to video chat with him because 
they have decided to go a cheaper route and now since I only use Macs, you know, I only use Apple stuff, now the video um, chat stuff only does Mac, does um, PCs and so they're going to have to work on that. So he's upset about that. Um, if you ever watch Gigolos, do you watch Gigolos? There's a show on Showtime. It's a reality TV show about Gigolos in Vegas. It's a show that I love. They don't make it anymore, but um, I like to go rewatch it sometimes. So one of my favorite Gigolos is Ash. And Ash, the other day, just got arrested for beating his girlfriend to death. My sister is refusing to take her medication. So I'm not sure she'll get on camera today. I would like her to, but if she's too weird or gonna, you know, I'm not trying to, I don't know. There's only so much I can show you. If I could show you my whole life, that would be insane. And that would be the most crazy TV show you've ever seen in your life, but I can't do that. So anyways, <laughs> I'm rambling. Let me get inside and see what's going on over here. <laughs> Madison, my animal, is that you? Yeah. yeah, how are you? I know it's hot today, it's in the 90s. You have all that fur on. You're laying down here under the window. Yeah, you doing okay? I'm kind of liking our little talks in the car in the garage thing here. It feels more intimate and uh, private talking to you here. You know, not a lot's really going on. <laughs> That's good. I try to make videos that are at least a little bit upbeat and share things that I think are positive and that have helped me because I want it to be a combination of fun and then a combination of things that could be helpful. You know, that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. I, you know, I'm more of a vlogger, you guys. So I know that there are people that want me to do these kind of demonstration videos, I guess, and like talking like that, but like, I kind of have to like really feel it to do it. You know what I mean? I, I don't really want to post something that I don't love and I, it has to feel like myself, you know? How do I explain this? <sighs> you know, life has kind of taken an interesting turn, you know, not just for me, but for other people too. I know that, but you know, speaking of myself here, it took a really bad turn a long time ago. Okay, and I haven't been really doing well for a very long time. And I'm not seeing how it's ever going to change. And I know, like, have you seen the movie The Secret, The Law of Attraction? You're supposed to just believe it and not worry about how it's supposed to happen and just trust that it will happen and let the universe figure it out for yourself. You know, you know what I'm talking about? So like the example they give is like at night you drive a car on a road and you have your headlights on and you can't see the entire road ahead of you, but you trust that the road that you're driving is gonna take you there. And I really like that example. And I try to remind myself of this sometimes that, you know, we're on a crazy journey and we're just in a car in the middle of the night with our headlights on going down this road and there might be some dips and some holes in the road and some un unexpected turns and twists but uh, we'll finally make it to our destination at least you know in some form or another it might not be everything we wanted So for a while now, I've been trying to think of a way I can explain to you or show you what it feels like to be me, what it feels like to live my life. And the other day I was watching this movie, it's called Age of Annaline, it has Blake Lively in it. And the essence of that movie is exactly the way that I feel, okay? Blake Lively's character, Annaline, not what the story is, 
because you know clearly I'm not frozen in time practically and not aging and having to hide because I don't want people figuring out I don't age anymore <laughs> if this is possible I who knows life's so weird anything's possible at this point right like anything can happen at least at least we're gonna go with that so if you watch that movie, if you haven't seen it already, the way that she feels, the isolation, the loneliness, the feeling like you know something other people don't and no one's gonna believe you, like maybe you're a little bit more advanced than other people, but then if you tell people they're just gonna think you're crazy and they're not gonna believe you and then they're just gonna write you off. You know, that kind of feeling, um, that's how my life is. That's how I feel every day. And although the end of the movie ends positively, I'm hoping, you know, my movie ends positively. You know, there's always that weird, awkward place in a movie where you don't know what's gonna happen and then, you know, it works out. And I, I truly feel like I live in a movie. But anyways, Age of Annaline is the movie that is the essence of me. So if you wanna know what it's like to be my life or feel like me, watch that. And I would like to know, is there ever a movie that you've seen that you felt like was totally the essence of you. Maybe the storyline isn't realistic, you know, but there's something about the movie, something about a character, something about a situation that's like, wow, that's, that's captured exactly the way I feel. So I'd like to know. And, you know, I wouldn't have picked the life that I live. Would you pick the life that you live? You know, I, I never would have picked this. And, you know, over the years I've developed a really good sense of humor. That's why I'm kind of silly. That's why I laugh at things that most people don't. But that's just how I deal with things. I don't know. I don't have all the answers. I don't pretend to have all the answers. I we're both we're all trying to figure out this life thing together, you know? And uh Yeah. <laughs> so you're not alone. All right. All right, you wild animals, I will see you next time. <laughs>